Evacuation order is still in effect tonight in Cala Mesa, where that sandalwood fire left a deadly path of destruction. KCO 9's Jeff Nguyen is live at the Villa Cala Mesa mobile home park with an eerie look at just what's left behind. Good evening, Jeff. And good evening to you, Chris and Sarah. You know, since Thursday, part of this community has been under an evacuation order. And tonight, the mobile home park behind us is still off limits. But this afternoon, this road, as well as everything to the north of it, were reopened. Tonight, the Via Calamesa mobile home park remains under an evacuation order as it sits in darkness following a deadly fire. For 360 degrees, there is very little that wasn't ravaged by the flames that raced through here Thursday. Investigators believe the fire was started by this trash truck that dumped a load of burning garbage. It tripped a motion sensor on Jean Miriam's ring doorbell camera minutes before she ran from the flames. As it went by, you know, about 15 minutes before I could see fire from my front door. So that's when I saw that I had a video of it. The death toll now stands at two. 89 year old Lois Arvikson has been identified as the first victim, but investigators have found a second body. Literally all I saw, I was looking at the ground, there was sun, and then it just went black. Allison Schaefer and Rashad Miller live near the mobile home park. They say they want to collect donations to help their neighbors rebuild. If it were me, I would want somebody to help me out and pitch in a hand because I know we're already struggling as it is. Their street was under an evacuation order that was lifted this afternoon. They have the streets down there blocked off, so it was real, real pain trying to get in and out of here. G. Miriam was able to get back into her house this evening, but the loss of two neighbors is now at the forefront of her mind with the roadblock right in front of her house. It's definitely a reminder. You know, we can see the lights from our front window of what's going on. And at this point, it is unclear when that second body will be identified or when people will be allowed to go back into the mobile home park. For now, we're live in Cali Mesa. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News. Yeah.